What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate Tool Reviews and today we're taking a look at one of the kind of cooler lawnmower sharpeners. It's pretty you know, easy to use, a little confusing to set up and I'll get into that in just a second here. But overall, this is one of those lawnmower sharpeners that I actually saw on Project Farm a couple of years back now and it's super simple to use. Actually, is very similar to you know, kind of using just a regular grinder, you know, and, you know, just clamping one of your blades down and trying to do it yourself. This thing actually keeps it at a specific angle for you and keeps it much, much more precise. So thanks to GSPT for sending this out to me. This is a really cool tool to check out. Um, now they did send me instructions with this thing and I've seen these instructions before. This is of course, one of those clones of the all American lawnmower sharpener. I mean, this is actually the same photos in here. You can tell this is basically a uh, copy of the copy <laughs> of the all American photos here. So these are kind of hard pictures to see. So I'd recommend watching a YouTube video, either mine or others. I watched another YouTube video to make sure I was doing it properly as well too. Um, this is one of those things where once you get it set up once, you are all good to go after that. So there's not a whole lot to set up here. You just kind of got to know where everything needs to go right off the bat. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to grab a basically a 732 hex key here. You're going to, of course, put in this little bracket here. Um, there's going to be two little screws here that you put in. Now, once you have that bracket on, then you can, of course, mount this however you like. And you're going to want to have your grinder mount right here on the right side. Then you can adjust this set screw here to set how far left and right you have your grinder. And then, of course, right here is where your lawnmower blade. So we'll get this up in just a second here. Uh, but to adjust this set screw, it's going to be a number 19 um, socket there. So, of course, it's pretty tight from the factory. So you're going to definitely want to have an impact to get that loose quick. And then you can make that adjustment. So next thing you're going to want to do is grab your grinder. Whether it's corded or cordless, doesn't matter. You then are going to want to find the proper um, threading for that. They give you a number of these little threaded uh, little... Um, pieces here. Basically, you want to find the one that matches your handle. I'm never been really a big fan of the Makita handles here. They have really little threads here, and they don't like to go in perfectly straight either, which has always been kind of an annoyance. But once you find it, you're good to go. Just tighten that on in, and then it goes in here, and you are all set. So that's about it for setup, guys. It's rather simple. It's not complicated. Once you get it down the first time, first time I'm doing this, I'm like, what? Where does all this stuff go? You know, it's kind of crazy. But once you get down the first time, you're all set to go for another um, sharpening of a blade. So let's get the thing mounted up quick. You can mount this either directly, you know, bolt it in, or you can just use a clamp like I'm going to do. So let's get this thing clamped in and go from there. All right, so here we go. I've got it clamped to the side of my trailer here, all I really need. So on the front here, you're going to see a couple of the angles here, down to 15, down to 45. So whatever angle you're currently using on your blade, all you got to do is set it to that angle. I'm using a 30 on my blade right now, so that is pretty easy to find there. Also, I'll show you another trick to find the angle on your blade here pretty quick too. Okay, so all you're going to do is take your blade here. You're going to slide this onto there. Then you just tighten it up. It's pretty simple there. Uh, if you ever use the All American before, you know it's kind of expensive, right around two hundred dollars. Um, this one costs right around seventy-five bucks, and honestly, it's about the same quality. Um, everything is solid metal. You know, it's super thick stuff here, and pretty impressed with this thing so far. Um, I used to work in a mower shop. Got to use this a couple times. They had the All American there, and it's really amazing what to see. You know, other brands make these for quite a bit cheaper and. Honestly, I'm not seeing anything that's like, oh yeah, that's significantly cheaper or worse quality than the All-American. It's pretty much an exact clone of it and it does it pretty well. So I've got this thing tightened in there. Let's now make sure that we are in the proper angle setting before we use the grinder here. Okay, so Makita angle grinders are a little fussy. It's not a perfect handle like straight off this angle grinder. So what you have to do is once you get this in, you then slide this pin in here to hold your grinder just like that. So now that we are slid in. So a little trick I like to use whenever I'm checking out my blades here before I sharpen them is you can actually put the grinder while it's still off and put it right up against there and make sure you are staying flat on the sharpened part of that blade. That's where I'm at right there at about 30 on my angle. So I know when I turn this thing on, I'm going to get that nice, perfect edge. And the cool thing is, is this thing is holding my grinder for me. So when I do make that swipe there, it's not going to, of course, you know, make a different size edge on that. So let's give this thing a shot and see how well it works. 
And of course, don't forget your PPE when you're using a grinder. I like to always use a face shield and safety glasses just in case. I've seen plenty of incidents online. All right, so let's get this thing fired up here. All right, and check that out. A nice clean edge there. That worked out really, really well. Awesome. So I'm actually pretty impressed with this thing. It's actually a fantastic upgrade from just, you know, freehanding it with an angle grinder. Gives you definitely a bit more precision and really allows you to do blades a lot faster while also doing them a lot better as well, too. So I'll leave a link in the description, guys. You want to check this thing out. It's only about 75 bucks. And honestly, it's pretty well made. You want to mount this to a trailer, um, you know, mount this in somewhere in your garage. I'm just clamping my trailer here for when I have to start my mower blade every couple of weeks. This actually is going to be fantastic. And for some of myself using this quite a bit, I think it makes it going, makes sharpening mower blades a lot faster and a lot easier while also getting a better edge of my blade. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day and stay safe out there.